right, um, hey everybody, we're going to do a really quick HIIT workout, um, just kind of a quick uh, like 10 minute routine that you can do to kind of get used to more high intensity training and something that's going to burn your fat quicker. Um, so, right, so I yeah. came up with five sets of things that you can do. So high intensity training is going to be like a very high intense thing and then kind of let your heart rate come back down and then get right back to high intensity and back and forth and back and forth. So how this is going to work um, over something like sitting or running on a treadmill at 4.0 for an hour is that you're, you're going to train your body to do high intensity work and then you're going to relax it and then speed it back up. You're going to burn th more fat that way and you're going to get better cardio than you would just running along a treadmill, kind of bored, and it's for an hour instead of First five exercise minutes. exercise going to be burpees. And then high knee walk. So to do your burpees, I'm going to put this right down here so you can see. A, uh, of a suicide instead of a burpee. So, um, kind of hard to show you guys since uh, I don't have this camera the right way. Maybe like I can fix it. Hold on. Like this. All right, so you're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise. So first one is gonna be burpees and then the second is going to be a high knee, just walk in place. So your heart rate's gonna get up there. So you just wanna kind of knock it back down, um, you know, Get your knees up, get them above your waist, and just kind of get that heart rate back up. All right, second one is going to be high jumps. Again, All right, so for each the whole point of this is you're going to rapidly increase your heart rate, and you're just going to try and push through it. You only know it's going to be only 30 seconds, and then you'll get to do a low and speed. All right, so your high jump, you want to make sure you touch the ground or pretty close to the ground. As, as you work on it, you'll get better. Um, touch the ground, and then just jump up. Almost like you're um, shooting a basketball. And the second round, you know, you can come over here and do the other side. If you're doing an uneven round or you're just doing one round, you can go front. So make sure you get your hands put above your head and you're going as close to the ground as you possibly can. All right, so the second low intensity is going to be just switch lunges. So you want to go down, come back up, go down, come back up. You don't have to do it fast, this is not a race. You want to get your heart rate kind of going down a little bit so that you get ready your body for the next one. Just a little bit of a break because you're about to do something more intense. All right, so your third high intensity is going to be a First plank mountain climber. So I'm just gonna pop down here. You can get in plank position. Get it. Get your butt down, get your abs in, and do mountain climbers. All right, and since we're already down here, we're just gonna hold plank for 30 seconds. So just find that really peaceful zone and just close your eyes or look around or whatever and just hold your plank. And make sure you keep your abs in, your butt down. All right, for your fourth it. one, um, if you got a set, of, set of, a set of stairs, then you wanna go ahead, come over and uh, get ready to do floor sprints. Or you can get ready to do some stair sprints. So, Y'all saw the stairs challenge, you know that I have stairs. And all I want you to do is do stair sprints for 30 seconds. So as fast as you can, move your arms. Sprint all the way up. Sorry, get this door open. Just do like a light jog down. Yeah, and then sprint up. Turn right back around, go down. 30 seconds, all right? Do that for 30 seconds. So pretty good and do some workout already. Now you have options here. You can do wide, you can do tricep push-ups. Alright, you can do push-ups on your knees, not on concrete, please. You can do wide. If you're doing it on your knees, I see a lot of people they try and figure out how to do push-ups like this or something. And they always do it very awkwardly. Because this isn't really the right way. Put your knees out there get flat from your knees up to your shoulders. If you do it at a diagonal like that, you're gonna really feel it in your arms. Where to go. All right, so pretty much all of these are inspired from P90X, T25, and Sanity. So the next one, you're gonna do is some switch, switch kicks. So if you've ever done Shanti workouts, you'll always do switch kicks. Keep your arms in close and start kicking. Jump and kick. Get them up as high as you can, 30 seconds. Okay. All right. All right.
right, we have one low intensity to go and then we're done. All right, so we're gonna do some squats. <laughs> we're gonna do 30 second squats. So you need to put your arms up, put them to the side, okay? You want your feet turned out just a little bit. I know you can't tell. Here, I'll put it down for you guys. There you go, you can look at my feet. All right, put your feet out. Make sure, keep your chest back. Stick your chest out. Put your arms out. Do some squats. Okay? You wanna do squats that are close. They're a lot more difficult. They work different parts of your body. Make sure if you're working on your back, and by back I mean your butt, <laughs> squeeze in when you come back up. Squeeze in. So you wanna push your pelvic floor out. Out. So that is five okay. minutes. Um, 30 seconds each, high intensity, low intensity, high intensity, low intensity. If you can get used to that high intensity, low intensity, it's gonna work a lot better than getting out and, and running two miles. I know, um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I run two miles. I like I like to pick up my long distance and get ready for like 5Ks or maybe a, a half marathon or a full marathon at some point. So I definitely get out there. I enjoy running. Um, but for that cardiovascular health, try and do these high intensity workouts. They're a great, great way to get um, like heart cardiovascular strength and burn that fat a lot faster. All right, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Uh, leave me comments below or if you want me to pick up other things, like if this one is too hard and you want me to do something a little bit um, less high intensity, let me know. We'll put something together. All right, have fun guys.